Hey guys, Gen4J here, and welcome back to the Majefries Network on OpenTTD. This is episode 201. The big sort of uh, build up to episode 200. It's over. I can't believe it's over. It's actually quite sad that it's over because I was sort of really hyping it up for so long. Um, as I say, I, I pre recorded a lot of those videos. So for, for you guys, it was a matter of, I think it was a week and a bit. Um, for me, it was something like three or four weeks. Well, I was really, really looking forward to uh, to getting the episode recorded. Now it's finished. It's gone. It's not coming back. Next up is episode 250. Uh, I feel we'll get there. The response that I got from episode 200 was pretty good, I have to say. Uh, a lot of people saying very nice things and that's nice sometimes when um, I make these videos people tend to be quite quiet they don't say whether they like it or not uh, and that's I mean, it's not demoralizing but it's a little bit sort of underwhelming um, but I've had a look at some people's feedback for episode 200 people like it and that's 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 what's good about it a couple of little debates about high speed 2 as there always will be. Uh, today is a high speed oriented episode as well so the debate will keep on rising I'm sure. Uh, and also some uh, some comments from um, some people, the uh, the usual suspects pretty much. Uh, Peter Evans did do a little bit of homework for me. Um, I remember asking episode 200, is there actually a station in the UK with the word Woods in its name? There is! According to Peter Evans, Elmstead Woods which is in London Zone 4 operated by Southeastern. It's named after the wood in the town of Elmstead. And even though I'm looking at the name, and I could do a quick Google search actually just to uh, to absolutely confirm this. Elmstead Woods, yeah. It is the name of a station. It's also the name of the woods and there's a park and garden. So I guess the station is named after the area. But even though I'm looking at it, it doesn't look right. The word woods in a station just does not look right. Uh, I have a feeling, wasn't there, wasn't there a station Birkenhead Woods? Woodside or something like that. Yeah, Birkenhead Woodside. That was a railway station as well. God, how did I remember that? That was from a very, very, very long time ago doing research. Anyway, um, so a big thank you to Peter for that, for looking it up for me. And a big thank you to all 95 people that watched episode 200 at the time of me recording this. Uh, it's one of my most watched episodes of recent times, so it's a, a huge, huge thank you. We would like to get that number higher, though, wouldn't we? Yes, we would. Well, I would. Uh, you guys are probably quite indifferent on the subject, but I would love to get the viewing figures high. And I did ask you guys to uh, to share the video um, with your peers and uh, you know let people know about the channel. I'm I'm putting my trust and faith in you guys. Hopefully that has been the case, and we can get some more viewership. Anyway, should we get working on some trains? We spent so long with no trains on the network. Now we're going to get loads. High speed. That's the uh, the key for today. High speed. We're going to be working with some high speed trains. First of all, let's buy the first train of the episode. You can see how much money we've got now. By the way. We are a profitable company, which is very exciting to see. It means we're doing something correct, which is uh, always a nice feeling. When you know you're doing something right and uh, and people are responding. It's a good feeling. Right. We're going to use the Eurostar livery trains for this uh, this first section of routes. Uh, this is the Class 374, otherwise known as uh, a member of the Siemens Valaro family. It is the newest Eurostar, the E320. Um, any more facts I can throw at you? I think that's about it, really, for this. It's a nice train. That's what we uh, we should take away from this experience. It is a nice train. And we're going to run this nice train into GSG. Hoping that this platform is long enough. Eight, yeah, it should be long enough. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Um... I don't think no, there's no waypoints there. So the next one's going to be here, and then it's going to be here, and then it's going to be here. Okay. 
you are unload all no loading you are service you are no loading Whoop, no unloading there we go resize that again okie dokie now we can start working on mapping out the route now this is not quite a super express but it's pretty close it's classed under super express in fact we're gonna have a super express category and we're gonna have a hyper express category now at the end of the last episode I did post link uh, a link to the service schedules I will be using this service schedule from now on um, for all services so if you want to see where the trains are going to stop there's the place to go and I've been watching uh, this isn't an experiment I'm not putting anybody on the spot but I, I was watching to see if anyone was actually interested in looking at the list and yes good news everybody people were interested in it so that's good I'm quite I'm quite pleased with that uh, sorry I was just checking to see if that was the same thing it looks like it is one thing my waypoint number three okay uh, so yeah people are interested in the list I always find that interesting I post a link and I honestly don't expect that many people to sort of be interested in in that kind of thing I get surprised a lot though because yeah you guys are interested it's good to see it is very good to see um, one of my favorite things to do really is to is to create something and then sit back and watch it sort of take effect and start working and that's exactly what happened with this it sounds like I'm running some kind of cruel experiment it doesn't I don't mean for it to sound like that it does sound a bit weird anyway uh, should we talk about the high speed let's talk about the high speed that would be nicer wouldn't it so this this uh, service has four stops God City St George, Winston Kylestra, Lenway Rialta and Plenbra Torina um, so the logical thing for this would be to go to the next stop which is Winston Kylestra is it Winston or Winston? I don't know. I mean, it's my game, it's my map. I can call it what I like, to be honest. I might even just change the name of it just so it makes more sense. We don't know. You're going to go into here, and then you're going to go into Kylestra, and then you're going to come out via the branch. Now, I think. Yeah. I'll, I'll come back to that in a second because I think that might need some work anyway after Winston the next stop is Lenway which I believe is the center station on this route there's Brenfingley it's not there the next stop oh, it's a long way isn't it here Rialta that's the one and then Rialta South and then we're going to go straight through uh, the one down here which is Estelle if my memory serves me correctly um, straight through the middle there to our final stop where'd the track go? <laughs> I lost it, oh there we go through the tunnel here Okay. I think we could do the waypoint at the other end of this tunnel actually. To slot start slot start 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 slowing the trains down before we get to the next waypoint. So I'm gonna do that and we're gonna do that. It's been a while since I last recorded an episode. That's something else I wanted to say. Episode two hundred, you might recall my voice sounded awful. Um, I thought it was just because I'd been talking for quite a while. It wasn't. It's because I was actually coming down with one of the heaviest colds known to man. Uh, it wasn't very nice. I'm okay now, sort of. I'm on the path to recovery, that's the main thing. I've actually had this cold for the best part of two weeks. Maybe even uh, longer than that. It's not been particularly pleasant, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Uh, I hate being ill. I certainly hate being ill when I know I should be making videos and I certainly hate being ill when I know I should be making videos and also doing university work. So um, 
that was a bit of pain. As I say, I am on the road to recovery. I'm not quite there yet. It'll happen at some point, I'm sure. But uh, that's why my voice might sound a little bit odd, even now, uh, to you guys. Because I'm still... Not, I st I, I'm trying to shake it off. I am trying to shake it off. It's just uh, it's not as easy as that, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, it's been a while since I've made a video. So that's kind of why I'm sounding like I'm really rusty. To you guys, it's been a week and a bit. And it's why I put the buffer in. Because I had a feeling something would come up. I did think it was going to be uni work, but actually, touch wood, so far, that's been manageable. It's not, it's not entirely been pleasant. Um, most of it's been okay, if I'm honest. Uh, just little bits here and there where I'm sort of sat there thinking, why am I doing this? But that's university life for you. That's, uh, that's exactly what uh, what you come to expect these days. Right, Calestra and then West Main. <clears throat> now it's the home straight. Quite literally. Um, okay. That's the first one. Then it's there. Then it's here. Then it's this one. Through the tunnel. And then it's this one. And I believe that is the last one, because this one has already been done. Oh, I already had Rumford one on there as well. Okay. Right, timetable. My least favourite section of this whole thing now. I hate timetabling. I hate it so much. 750 per stop, except for here, where it is I think 5,000. It is. 5,000. Uh, GSG is 1500 all of these are 750 until we get to Torina where it's also 1500 and then GSG is 1500 and the depot is 750 okay speed limit uh, your top speed is 199 miles per hour yes it is so the easy way of doing this is block 200 and then we go through these so the the normal speed limit going in and out of a terminus station is 15 miles per hour for the high speed I'm actually going to change it to 30 reason being the IEPs the Intercity Express program um, they're a thing now. They actually exist. There was me thinking it was a long way off. They actually exist. They currently exist on um, the Great Western Main Line. And even then, I think there's only one or two that are currently running uh, on that particular route. Um, I saw a video this morning. Um, you guys don't know when I'm recording this. This is on a Thursday. Uh, for month, yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, I saw a video of um, some people riding on the new train. It looks very nice. The uh, the IEPs. I'm a big fan. Actually, this this is <laughs> this is one of my conversation topics. I'm going to upset a lot of people by saying this. I'm sure. The bullet trains. When I did some research for the uh, episode 200 um, high speed thing, um, I came to a realization that the bullet train has got to be one of the ugliest trains I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, and I mean that. It's a horrible looking thing. The reason being, some of them, some of them are quite nice to look at. Some of them. But, um, I think it was the E4? Let me find out which one it is. Yeah, it's the E4, which is the double deck train. Sort of from that period onwards, if you actually look at the bullet train, it's got this really long, sleek nose that goes out for about six miles. Uh, and it's all to do with um, aerodynamics. I forgot the word then. It's all to do with aerodynamics. It's so the train can accelerate as fast as possible um, without creating too much turbulent air. It's one of these things that I learned when I was doing engineering is the faster you go, the thicker air becomes. 
and you don't want to be in a situation where you're pushing against air because I mean who wants that let's be honest air is thicker than water when you go beyond a certain speed you think how hard it is to swim through certain types of water imagine trying to do that with air you can't even see what it is you're fighting against it's not particularly pleasant so the earlier bullet trains um, the sort of the actual bullet shaped ones um, they're quite nice they're very retro but they are quite nice then you come to sort of the E1s, the E2s, the E3s, the E4s, right the way up to what we've got now, the E7s and, and beyond. If you look at the nose, it's really, even though it's quite smooth shaped, it's quite blunt still. And then it climbs up to the cab, and the cab bit looks fine, and then it's got shoulders. I've never seen a, a train cab with shoulders before. And it looks awful. If I'm being honest with everybody, it looks horrendous. These these stupid shoulders that the bullet trains have, and then if you actually look at the 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 uh, shape of the main body of the train, it's a square. Ha it's not very aerodynamic. Compare that to the IEPs, the Hitachi trains that are currently being built for the Great Western Main Line, the East Coast Main Line, and a couple of other ones here and there um, they're very very sleek they're very um, what's the word I'm looking for they're very rounded first of all uh, if you also look at the 375s which are the high-speed one javelins they're very sleek as well they're very nice looking trains uh, they've actually been designed to not only be aerodynamic but also to look nice that in my head is how you do it uh, anything else is a little bit on the ugly side so I'm not entirely against the bullet train I like the bullet train I think the bullet train really was the catalyst for we can make trains that go just as fast as aircraft um, but then you look at some of the uh, the more recent designs they are just squares maybe there is something aerodynamic about squares but they don't look particularly pleasant as I say, a train with shoulders. Who wants that? It's almost. It looks like a block of clay, where they've they've dug out the cab, and they shake the cab out of this big block of clay, and then the sculptor's gone home for the day, and then they just went, yeah, we'll make that. That's fine, and then they they went and actually mass produced it. That's that's the bit where I just think, mm, really. Anyway, I'm not insulting people. I hope. Uh, I don't think it's any particular individual's fault. And as I say, I like the bullet train. And if it's any consolation, uh, Hitachi is a Japanese company and their trains are very nice to look at. Uh, as I say, the IEPs look very smart indeed. It's just rather unfortunate that uh, there was a little incident with the bullet train design. Oh well, life could be worse. Um, I feel like we need another speed check here because this is going to be 150. Here. I feel like this a drop from 200 to 100 feels a bit steep so if I come back over here I think here we could do with actually do you know what yeah okay okay we'll improvise so here uh, it's gonna drop to 150 and then because we are stopping at Kylestra, this is going to be 100. Um, although we don't really need... No, I think... what? No, yeah, 150. See what I mean about I haven't made a video for a while. My voice is just all over the place right now. Uh, so with this, we'll just keep it as 150. It's, it's you know, banked. It's just this little chicane section here is a bit uneven, but we'll, we'll make do. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Anyway, um, that, 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 this one goes to 150. Uh, Kylestra West Main. Yep, that's fine. And then here into GSG, you are 30. Through the tunnels, it's 60. So you are 75. I think we have enough. Yeah. You are 100. You are 125. And you are 150. 
nice gradual step down into the uh, the slow speed. All right, and then out of the station, you are 45. You are 60. It's always 60 through the tunnels uh, into and out of um, GSG. You are 20. You are. Uh, you are 45. So this is probably going to be 60 again. All right. Auto fill you. According to this sheet that I have, we're going to have four trains on this route. Um, <clears throat> so I should probably commit to buying them. I just want to make sure that I'm not. No, yeah, we'll commit to buying them. Okay. Two, three, four. Nice and simple. Next up is all the way over here. Not there, but over here. At this bit. So we have a waypoint here. Where's the other end of this tunnel? Here. I'm going to have another set of waypoints here. So imagine you're going 200 miles an hour, or 250, I think, is the top speed for this particular piece of track. Um, you're going to hit this, it's going to drop you to 150. You're going to hit this one, it's going to drop you to 100. And then, I think, um, here and here, it's going to drop you down to something like 75. And then somewhere over here, it's going to drop you down to the actual depot speed. We'll find out more on that in just a second. Pin you up here. Now you are the oldie Eurostar, the 373. We can afford to have a slightly longer train on this particular bit of line. Uh, actually, is this the right length? Yeah, that's 10. If I come over to Plenborough, over here, these short platforms here should also be 10. Well, there are 11 actually, that's fine, uh, with our nice railjet platforms here too. And then right the way up in the top corner at Gronwell, which is a very long way away, uh, these, the two railjet platforms are there, and then all of these, that one's 11, these two should be 10. Yep, cool. Back over here. Okay, so you go here, um, here, here, down through this, uh, oh, right, here, 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 and here, into the station, and then out here, 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 here and here and then all the way back over to this bit there 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 and there boy that's long right uh oh needs to stop at plenborough twice that would be good wouldn't it i'm assuming i did that correct over here GSG there, GSG there, yes, good. We'll just do it like at. Okay, you are unload all, no loading. You are service, and you are no loading, no unloading. Resize you, come down to here. Okie dokie. <coughs> so from here, uh, you go via this twice, you go via this twice, you go via this twice, and you go via this one twice, and you go via this one twice. Right, now after Torina, this train next stops at Estelle, which is the next stop on the route, I believe. Here. Tunningly, yep. So, here twice. Still south. 
Estelle, Estelle North. Okay, from here you then skip the next station which is Rialta here and you go to the next stop which is all the way over here at Astrea where it connects with the Gaz City Eastern mainline north branch I should start that's why I need names for these because uh, that's not gonna cut it really is it let's be honest right after that you're gonna come out of here uh, you're gonna come around this way the longest bit of the uh, the connector you do then stop at Kylestra after Kylestra you come out main you skip the next stop which is I always forget the name Apollonia, that's the one. And we go to Acidalia. Which is a long way away, all the way over here. This is probably the longest service on the entire network. Um, Torina, all the way up to Superior. It's a long way to go. Right, now I've got to remember where all the waypoints are here. There's none along this bit, and in fact I might even rebuild these waypoints whilst I have the chance to. I think I will. Or at least what I will do is rebuild this as a double track waypoint. Keep that as a double track waypoint. Um, get rid of that one. Actually, I'll rebuild that as a double track waypoint as well. So, how many do we have going into Plenborough? Five. And how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, it's five in, five out. Going to. Although that doesn't sound right. So what one's this? Oh, your high speed approach. So it's six in, five out. Is that right? It's your high speed approach. This Tarina also needs to go via high speed approach. Okay. So that sounds better. That sounds more like it. So this has six going in just like Tarina. Perfect. So, Acidalia East. Resize this all the way down. There we go. One, two, I need to rename these at some point. One, two. One, two. Uh, one, two. One, two. One, one. Timetable. Buffered auto. Open this right up. First things first. 750 on all of these apart from here which is 5000 uh, Torino which is 1500 um, Superior which is also 1500 and the other Torino which is you guessed it 1500 Right, speed limits. Top speed of this train is 186 miles per hour. 187. So I can technically do the same thing. Uh, that's not it. The same thing as I have with the other line. Just have it as a 200 ceiling. So if we ever upgrade to a faster train, which could well happen, 
you never know um, it will know to, to stay within the 200 mile an hour limit now I think um, well I don't need to think anything I just need to do this we got this the, uh, the Hyper Express is coming next which is going to be a lot more interesting I can promise you right let's uh, let's just do this it's going to be painful, incredibly painful but let's just get it over with and then we don't have to see it again so 30 it gets a lot easier in a second 45 60 75 um, 100 1, 2, 5 Hang on. That should be 60. How did I do this? So, Rialta, right there, HS5. That was 150. And then HS4. was 100, 75, 60, okay that was right 75, 60, you're 45 I thought so I did think so it's the speeding up where it's a bit different because you come out at 45 and then you hit this one and it goes up to 60 and then you hit this one and it goes up to 75 and then you hit this one and it goes up to 100 Um, and then one two five. That's one fifty again, isn't it? And then two hundred. Yeah, something like that. And then here, one fifty. In one fifty out. Um, and then Astrea, same thing. One fifty in, one fifty out. And then here it's 150 all the way around. So these are literal waypoints rather than uh, speed changes. Until we hit there, and then Acidalia, it is 150 in, 150 out. Um, and then here it's. 30, 45, 60, 75, 100, and 150. And that's going in and then coming out. It's 45. 60 60 uh, 75 100 150 and then it's 150 here we're nearly done, we're on the home straight almost literally so always when I scroll down to the bottom like that, that's how I know I'm nearly at the end. 150. I hate timetabling. I used to love it. I used to love the little... Because it was all new. I used to love the fact that it was new and it was quite simple to do. And Because um, I didn't have many speed changes. You know, it was just one or two here or there. And now... Oi, now it's just because I've got so many different waypoints and stations and just everything, it makes it so much more painful to do. Especially when you're working on routes, not so much like this, but the cross country ones especially. I've actually gone back and redone um, some of the cross country speed limits and stopping times to, uh, to standardize it a little bit more, make it a bit more manageable mainly so it's easier to do in the future it's kind of what I s set this system um, spreadsheet up for, this service schedule spreadsheet is so that I know that if it's uh, an HST 
then it needs three and a half thousand ticks at the original um, depot and then it needs a um, thousand ticks at each uh, stop uh, uh, sorry each terminus stop 500 at waypoint stops you know uh, intermediate stops and um, top speed is 125 unless it's a two track main line when it's just a hundred and you know little things like that just to make life a little bit easier that's the that's the game plan anyway it's not always the case it's kind of the same with this I'm trying to standardize everything to make it easier I used to like it in the past when everything had its own sort of unique uh, stopping patterns and things it was nice and quirky but now it's it's a pain it's a real pain in the neck uh, so let's see that's 20 this is 45 I think uh, so this is going to be 75 which makes this 100 and this 150 I think that's how it's going to work autofill okay close U um, I don't think I can no not that I'd want to anyway so what's the capacity of this one? 894 and the capacity of this one is 800 okay so the capacity wise it's pretty good uh, how many trains did I need on that one? I have a feeling it was 5 yeah it's 5 right now we're on to the fun ones let's, uh, let's buy these first actually Two, three, four, five. Now we're on to the fun ones. Scooch back over here. The future DDs. The fastest trains in the wilderness. Give or take. Um, pin. Pop you there. In terms of delivery, I kind of like the black one. The black one's nice and sleek. The fryer one, yeah, that's, that's a bit. It's not the nicest. I, mean, I think it's the viola. The earlier one that I really didn't like. Sintus uh, Arriva. Oh yeah, I've used that one. I think that's the one I used before, wasn't it? Or I used the Talis one before. Oh yeah, I used that one before. Um, ice. Mm. I actually want. Probably will keep it as black for now. Cause that looks so sleek and modern. I don't think you can get more modern than all black. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. <coughs> right. Uh, that, 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 that. And here. Here and here. You are service. You are unload. No loading. And you are... Whoop. No loading. No unloading. Okay. From GSG, you're going to do the following. Bop, bop. And this is why I love this particular service, because the next two waypoints is going to be here twice. Uh, and then you have this one here. So I think we have to do this... Oh, maybe not, actually. No, maybe not. Um, like that, like that. Uh, you have right. It's that, that, that. I think. And then on top of that one, it's that. I think that's twelve, thirteen, eight. Nine, yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then for the rest of this journey, you are just going full tilt non stop. So, your literal next ones are here and here. I'm putting these ones in just so that it does have some waypoints along the way, uh, mostly for, for guidance reasons, really. And then 
the penultimate station here. Straight through. Now we've actually got more trains running out of Gronwell as well. It makes this high speed system more worthwhile. Uh, before it was a little bit of a waste, or a little bit pointless. I should say, not so much a waste, just a little bit pointless. This tiny little town up in the top corner being served by a high speed route. For no other reason than it was the furthest point away from Guard City at the time. It's kind of the same with Plenborough, but eventually, over the next couple of weeks, I do plan on building the line down to uh, to Plenborough, um, or the, at least the line down the coastal route and then along the south coast towards Plenborough, I should say. Uh, let's not overcommit to things, shall we? Right, timetable buffered, that's always important. You are 2,000. Yeah. There's me doubting myself. 2,000 apart from here where you are probably going to be 7,500. Not going to run very frequently, these trains. But when they do, they're going to rocket their way through. Uh, and if I pin that for a second, top speed on these is 249. Perfect. So here, top speed, 250. All the way down. And this one should be really easy to change. You just go 30 there, uh, 60 through the tunnel, and 60 out of here as well, I think. Is that correct? 45 out of there. Uh, yeah, alright, we'll s keep that as standard. Alright, here you're 45. Then you're 60 through the tunnels, 75, 1, actually, instead of the, the 75 here, you're going to be 100, you're going to be 150, and you are going to be 200. And then that's the way it stays until we get to uh, to Gronwell here, where you're going to be 30. You're not going to be 45. You're going to be 60. Actually, no, 45. I think you have to, you have to standardise it to a point. 60, and then here will be the jump. So you are 100, <coughs> 150, and 200. That makes sense. And then leaving. 45. 60. Um, and then it's the jump again. 100. 150. And 200. Okay. All the way to here, you are 30, you are 45, no wait, you're 60, sorry, through the tunnels. I did get that right there, didn't I? Yeah. Um, so what are you then? 100, I suppose. 150, 200. Well, maybe you're 75. And then you're 100. And then you're 150. And then you're 200. That looks right. It does look right, to be fair. Okay, and then leaving, you are 45. You are 60. You are also 60. And you are 45. And you are 20. Auto fill, and the number of trains on this order is four. Two, three, four. Right, next up is Guard City to Plenborough. So again, new vehicle, future DD, pin. Should I cheat a little bit? I think I might cheat a little bit. 
copy from there except um, from here I mean, that's not that much cheating I haven't saved myself that much work to be honest Uh, just follow the line all the way across. Here we go. Okay, so here um, we actually need to go via these two first, and then we go via these two, and then we go via these two, like so, <coughs> and then. Over here, we go via these two again. Okay. And then after this... Don't have waypoints here, actually, so we don't need them there. You'll have to excuse the dogs barking in the background. That's really annoying. Oh, yeah, you can hear them. Right, hang on. Let me shut my window. I don't think you want to hear me shouting at some dogs that I don't even own. And I can't even shut my window now. That's nice, isn't it? Well, that's my window shut. And you can still hear them. <laughs> I do apologise. Me and dogs, we don't get on. Right, we don't have waypoints there either. So the next set of waypoints is probably not even going to be here, is it? Oh, we do have some here. Well, there you go then. Tunningly, you get some waypoints. Yeah, dogs, dogs barking, not ideal. Now I've had to shut my window, which means I'm going to be sweating like, well, you don't need to know like what. Ah, uh, I don't miss this. I miss making videos, and I miss talking to you guys, and I miss the uh, the amazing feedback that people give. I don't miss the dogs. Who misses the dogs? Let's be honest here. Who's missing them? Certainly not me. Anyway, that is our timetable pin buffered. They like toying with me as well because they make it sound like they're going to stop and then they start up again. Which is nice of them, isn't it? 200. Um, 150. You're also 150. And then you're 250. I think for that reason alone... I feel like over here I need an extra... Let's shut that for a second. I need an extra waypoint here. So say you hit this... Well, I think it should be this side of the tunnel, actually. Over here. So, bring this open again. Um, it'll be on the return leg. So, just before high speed, we're going to have another waypoint there. We'll rename you quickly. Rodham High Speed. There we go. Just so that from 150 to 250 speeding up. Actually, yeah, we should have it in both directions, really. So after there, it then goes there. That makes more sense. So this would then be 200 and then this would be 250. Uh, this is also 250. Okay, let's work up from Canberra. That's 30. That's 45. This is 60. And then this is 100. This is 150. 
and this is 200. Okay, and then in the other direction, that needs to be 2000. And then this is 45, um, 60. So by here, it's got to be 250. So this is going to be 200. This is going to be 150. So this one is 100. Okay. And then this is also going to be 250. Uh, this here is 200. This one is 150. Uh, this is also 150. And this one is 200. Autofill. Right, that's all of that side done as well. And we also have four on this line. Two, three, four. Right, next up is over here. See your part of this slot. So again, I might cheat and use this just to get some of the speeds and everything coming in and out. Um, so after Plenborough, you then stop at Wanston Kylestra. Uh, so this this one goes up to Gronwell as well, doesn't it? Yeah, so um, take out that, 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 that. Okay, and then over here, where are we? It's not there. It's not there either. So before friending head, you stop there. And then on the way back, after friending head, you stop there as well. Well, you go via that, I should say. You don't stop. Uh, Wanston Kylestra, you then go via there. Okay, and then Acidalia, we're going to get rid of that, that, and that. Okay, and then here, Acidalia, going to get rid of that one, that one, and that one. You do stop at Kylestra, and then you're going to get rid of this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. That should be good now. Go down. Change this to Buffered Auto. Going to pin. That's not what I wanted to click at all. Right. Um, I didn't change the speeds here. That was done, wasn't it? So here you're 45, and then you're 75, should we say, and then you're 200. That doesn't really fit. Let's say you're 75 coming out of here, and then you're 125 coming out of here. Something like that. So this one, you're 75 coming out of here. Um, you're actually going to be 150 coming out of here, and then here you're going to be 250. And then this is going to be... Oops. 200 and then the 150 and then the 100 like so um, you're then going to go to Torina and you're going to stop for 2000 ticks this uh, this one here is a hundred This one here is 150. This one here is 200. This one is 250. That's right, that's right, that's right. This needs to change to 
Um, that's a point. That needs to be... Okay. So one's done is a thousand ticks you're going to sit there for uh, and then you leave one stun and you hit this and you're going to have to hit 250 again aren't you that doesn't really work we can't could we change that to 200 uh, it's, it's a big drop we might have to change this to like 175 or something We'll have to see about that. We'll have to come back to it. This is 200. This is 150. This is 100. And we got a drop of 40 miles an hour here. It goes 50, 50, 50. One, uh, 40. And then it goes down by 15 and 15. Hmm, so that actually doesn't make much of a difference, does it? 150 200 and then you are 250 and then again we have the problem here okay I think actually if we come out of Kylestra at 175 that would make it a little bit more manageable to drop 75 miles an hour because when you're going 215 you drop to 175 it's not as bad it's still pretty bad but it's not as bad you are 2000 I didn't change this one up here either did I know I did not you are 7500 um, I also What are you? 589. You need to be the black livery. Two. Oop. Wrong one. Two, three, four. Okay. Where were we? Uh, here. So you are 1000. And then you're 150, 150. Here you're 200. And here you're 250. you bomb through all of this and then here you slow down to 200 150 and 100 60 45 30 and then up here should we I think we should really 100 150 200 and then here we'll have 250 because if you've got no passengers and you suddenly drop 100 miles an hour not that we are but no one's going to disappear through the window either autofill you need to be black two three four five that's that one done right next up is the slowest trains on the entire line the rail jets so if I scooch on back over to here, uh, we need to select the railjet depot. Uh, let's pin you for a second and we'll pop you down here. Now somewhere, there's the Taurus, there's the railjet. Pin you. Alright, now somewhere on this big list of trains, we're going to have to find the... Uh, the railjet carriages. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Railjet, there we go. Twelve and a half. Thirteen. Right, so 
you can only carry passengers. 1,883 passengers. With a kids' cinema, economy class, onboard restaurant, first class, premium first class. Very nice. You are la creme de la creme of train travel on the Majeffries network. Uh, so you can copy from... Where's this one going? Gronwell. Do we have a train that goes from here to Gronwell? You go to Plenborough, don't you? Yeah. Hmm. In that case, I think we're going to have to copy from... Is it this one that goes up to Gronwell? It is. So if I just copy generically from you, that gets all the orders in and out of um, GSG. And then here is where we start adding in. So this train goes to Gronwell. So instead of Winston, you're going to go uh, here, here, and here. Instead of Naywood, you're going to go here, here, and here. Um, And then for Sludhead, you are going to go via. Which one are you? Your Naywood. Oh. Okay. So before Sludhead again, you're going to go via here, here, and here. Right. And then after Gronwell, on the way back, you're going to go here, here, and here. Um, here, here, and here. and then here, here, and here. And that should be good. Pin you, your buffered, drag this down. Okay, first and foremost, you are not 7,500, you are, what are you actually? 5,000 again. Oh, I will do 7,500. Screw it. Why not? Uh, GSG, you are 17... Actually, 2,500 again? Because these trains won't run as regular. So that makes more sense. That does make more sense. Uh, you just need to be 150. Because you're not going to go any faster than that. Ever. So I can actually have this step up a little bit more comfortably. 75 there and 100 here. Um, in fact, even then, we can have it step up a little bit more comfortably if we really wanted to. Have this as 125. Luxury travel it is going to accelerate pretty fast, but you just won't notice because of how gradual it is. And then West Main, um, you're going to drop to 100 to enter the station where you're going to stop for. 1,500. I need to change all of these numbers. So you are 2,500. You are 1,500. You are 1,500. You are 1,500. And you are 2,500. That has significantly increased the number of trains we're going to need. But that's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. So you're uh, 100 out of there and then you are 150 
Now Grundhead Waypoint. Where's Grundhead Waypoint? I feel like I've messed up here somewhere. Yeah, okay, hang on. We don't need Grundhead Waypoint anymore. Okay, uh, so Kylestra main here, you're going to go up to 150. Apollonia West, 100. Apollonia, I'm going to leave that at 100. 150. 100. Uh, 100. You are 150, and then you are 100. Ah, oh, no, you are 125. You are 100, and you are 75. Coming out 60, you are 75, you are 100. You are one two five and you are one fifty. Acidalia one hundred. Am I pronouncing that right by the way? Is it Acidalia or Acidalia? If it's Latin, I'm inclined to believe it's Acidalia. If it's not Latin, then fair game pretty much wherever you want. Well, I haven't done the stopping times on any of these stations. That's bad. Um, so there's Kylestra. There's uh, Apollonia. You're 1500 as well. And then Acidalia. I'm going to keep calling it Acidalia for now until someone says I'm, I'm right or wrong. Um, Superion, you are 2500. Acidalia again is 1,500 and then Apollonia is also 1,500 and then we're nearly there so Apollonia West you are 150 Kylestra East you drop to 100 again and then you drop to 100 there Kylestra itself is a 1,500 stop and then you are 150. You are 125. You are 100. You are 75. I feel like here actually uh, it should be this one is 100. This one is 125. And then this one's just 150. So it goes an extra waypoint before it starts to slow down. Yeah, that looks right to me. Oh, we do need to change the uh, the depot at the end. Do that, do this. Got to come all the way over here. So here, get rid of that, get rid of that. You go to this waypoint, this depot service. Just check. Yep, right one. Good. Back into the timetable. Okay, so you go into there at 45. That is 75. Oops, 75. That is 20. This is going to be uh, 1000. The wait time. That should sounds about right. And then this needs to change to 2,500. Right, I also need to change this number on the service schedule. So this service, according to this calculation that I've done, needs eight trains, which sounds excessive. Let's find out. That does include a divided by two. Oh, 
get eight and see how it goes, I suppose. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each train costs six million pounds. Yikes. That's a lot of money being spent just on trains. Right, we have two more services to do and then this video is a done. So let's head over here. Grab you. You are well, technically you are a clone of this. So we'll do that for now. Pin you, pin you, drag you down here. Now before I edit any of these orders I'm going to save the game just in case it crashes. And whilst I'm waiting for that I'm going to change the uh, stop times here on the service schedule list there we go <coughs> so currently it needs nine trains but if I change this number here ten that's a lot of trains. That's 60 million pounds on 10 trains just for this new service that we're about to put in here. That's insane. Delete. Okay. You train. You're going to go here. And then you're going to go uh, here. And here down through there over to here 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 into station twice out of station here 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 and all the way over to here along this way along this way through there here <coughs> here 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 you no loading no unloading you are unload all no loading you are service Make that normal size again. Okay, and then here we're going to go here, 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 and then via number five here here um which one's this going to this is going to Gronwell okay so uh it's an all stopper all the way to Gronwell so here 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 I'm actually really looking forward to running these services and seeing how well they work. Fingers crossed they work perfectly. That's actually um, another point that I wanted to make. Proves that I'm getting better at signal programming. Uh, last episode we put all the new services in. I had loads of problems on the third rail network because of different signals that I'd either forgot to put in or put in incorrectly. So that was bad. But then when it came to do the northern trunk route I set the two um, services the Pendolino and the Class 91s between GSG and Gronwell and they both worked perfectly first time which is really really cool and then unfortunately I ruined it again slightly because the Javelin running uh, on, the, on the northern section into GSG again it worked fine we then got to GSG went into GSMA and then it all went wrong um, Still not 100% sure exactly what the problem was. I appear to have fixed it, but I don't know how. So we'll just wait and see on that one. Um, exactly when it decides to go wrong again. Who knows. 
but the main thing is at the moment it's working okay and it runs into um, Denston Carnegie quite nicely that section's fine it's just the section between GSMA and Cadingbury that's a little bit hit and miss right now but we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it I'm sure we will uh, so that, that yeah that's fine actually that's the other thing God, uh, I sound so bad right now I keep reminding myself of things I want to talk about Pendolinos it's exactly what I wanted to talk about so Virgin are in the process at the moment of repainting their Pendolinos um, to fit in with the fact that the invitation to tender for the West Coast Main Line is coming up very very shortly and there's every opportunity there's every chance, no, not every opportunity, because I quite like Virgin Trains, there's every chance that Virgin might not be re-awarded the franchise. So to prepare for that, they've repainted the trains in a more neutral um, paint scheme. That means that the new operator can come in and put their uh, branding on it relatively easily. Unfortunately, the Pendolinos had a really, really nice colour scheme when they were first introduced, right the way back in 2002. Uh, when they were first introduced they had a really nice color scheme and they've kept that right up until now 15 years apparently it's also the half-life of the pendolinas which doesn't sound very good they only last 30 years you consider how old the hsts are at the moment um that's yeah not great anyway um the new pendolino color scheme it's it's technically the same but it's it's how they've done it with the uh, the old scheme the uh, the law in the UK is trains have to have yellow front ends unless their headlights now meet a specific criteria. Now that second bit, the headlight meeting certain criteria, that's relatively new. That was brought in only a couple of years ago, I believe. Just before... Um, in fact, do the Class 700s have it? I know that the new Crossrail trains don't have yellow front ends. I want to see if the 700s do. Yeah, the 700s do, but not to the extent that it used to be. Uh, it used to have to be the entire front end was yellow. And in fact, if you look at the original Virgin Trains HSTs, um, it looks like someone with a receding hairline, how they've painted the yellow. It doesn't look particularly great. It's like Homer Simpson when his hair was falling out. That kind of, uh, that's how it looks. Not great. That's what the Pendolinos now look like. When the Pendolinos were first introduced, the yellow was incorporated into the design of the front end of the train. So it wasn't just, oh, we're doing this because we have to, even though that's probably what it was deep down. But um, they actually managed to get the yellow to, to blend in with the rest of the train, and it looked really nice. Now, however, I don't like it, is the, the simple way of saying it. I don't like how they've painted the train. They look awful. Um, I'm hoping Virgin... Well, actually, even if Virgin do win the, uh, the the franchise again, I can't see them repainting the trains back to how they were. So I think we're stuck with them looking like this awful mess right now. It's not it's not brilliant. I don't like it. That's uh, that's pretty much it. I just don't like it. it doesn't look particularly nice. But um, the seven not the seven hundreds the eight hundreds. The IEPs, uh, th them in Virgin livery also looks a little bit sort of hit and miss. The Azumas, it's okay. It's not brilliant, but it's okay. It'll do. I think it's the uh, the 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 opinion that I have. Again, I'm just going to look that up to to mentally remind myself. If I go Azuma images. Yeah, the Azuma's okay. Again, it's it's because of Hitachi. Uh, they've managed to get the yellow incorporated into the design of the train. So you can almost see where the panels have been placed that are to be painted yellow. Whereas the rest of the train is, is white and red. Uh, and that looks quite nice. In Again, in Virgin Livery, it's not the greatest. I think the Pendolinos work really well and the Super Voyages work really well. But on the East Coast... There's something about those trains. They don't look that great in uh, in Virgin livery. Maybe it's just something I'm going to have to get used to as time goes by. But at this moment in time, they're not the best looking trains in the world. But um, that can always be changed in the future. But if I go class 390, new livery. 
and I'll explain exactly what I don't like about it. Where is it? At the moment all that's come up is the old... oh there it is. Yeah they've been painted actually to match the Azumas um, but because they're different body shapes it just doesn't work. I don't want it to sound like I'm body shaming a train because that's not right. I think the Pendolinos are very very nice looking trains. Um, Alstom did a really good job with them. It's just uh, that one little bit where the yellow is and then the red and the fact that the bodies are all plain white they're not the uh, the virgin branded anymore they haven't got the black window edges or anything like that um, it just looks bland it looks bland and it looks boring uh, it's, 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 it's not great it's not great was it 45 going into uh Yeah, 45 then 30. So that's 45. This one is 60. We are nearly done. We are nearly done. We're getting onto the home straight as we speak. Um, so this is 100. And then this one here is 125. And then that's 150. And then here it's 75 coming out. Um, and then I think it was one, two, five, something like that. What was it here? Seventy-five, one fifty, two fifty. Okay, so here I can be a little bit more gentle. Sixty, seventy-five, one fifty, or sixty, hundred, one fifty, something like that. A bit more discreet. As I say, the railjet is the uh, the premium luxury. I'm almost tempted. I have this this group still. On the uh, the list here, Excelsior, uh, which I might just use for luxury trains that don't run on the high-speed network, and then just put Railjet in their own separate category, perhaps under the high-speed bracket still, but maybe not. We'll have to see on that one. Uh, so what's this one? 75, and then 100, and then here 125. There we go, and then 150, and then we hit Estelle. Now here we 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 are sort of going against things a little bit because we are dropping from 150. Actually, if I do that to 125, which does mean I'm going to have to change this one as well, which I'll do now while I remember. Uh, so instead of dropping down to 100 to go into the stations, we're going to drop to 125 because the other trains are going to be doing 150 going into the outer platforms. So we can easily do 125 going into these platforms. No problem at all. Uh, 125, 125, and then here 125, and here 125, and then that's all fine, and then on the way back uh, here, one, two, five. Here, one, two, five. And then this one, one, two, five. And this one, oops, this one, one, two, five. Have I missed one out? So, Gronwell, Acidalia, Apollonia, here, Calestra. One two five and one two five. There we are. Right. Same with this one. So you're now going to be one two five going in and out of all the intermediate stations. And then one fifty here. One two five. In. Now this is probably going to be the longest. I mean any any train that runs between. Um, Plenborough and Gronwell is currently the longest service on the entire network, but this railjet service is probably going to be the longest in terms of time, even though it's going 150 miles per hour uh, between stations. The fact that it's such a long journey, uh, there's every chance that it is going to be the longest time taken. 
these trains are going to be going 250 miles per hour, these trains are going to be going 200 miles per hour, well, less, just less than 200 miles per hour. Um, big difference. Uh, so here we're going to go Rudhead, Frindinghead. I think here we'll actually keep the speed the same. It's only here where it's going to drop. I might change that one to 100, maybe not actually. Just leave it 125. <clears throat> but I might here also drop this one to 125. Just so it's a little bit more comfortable going around that corner. Because you're basically popping a Yui at that point. You're going past Kylestra and then turning around and coming back into it. So, uh, as I say, comfort comfort on the railjet is of the utmost importance. They should almost have that built into the game. Uh, maybe as like an add-on for the game. You can have a, a bit like um, on Flight Simulator in FSX these days. Uh, that is Flight Simulator. On uh, FSX and... Um, I can't remember what the other one's called off the top of my head now. That's that's annoying. Uh, X plane, that's the one. Um, there's something called f sim economy, sim economy, flight economy. I can't remember the name. I don't play flight simulator anymore. I sort of did two two or three videos on it and then realised that it probably wasn't for me. Um, but I do know that on that game, uh, there's comfort levels for passengers, and you you get awarded points or deducted points depending on how comfortable a ride your passengers have. They should have something similar to that on this. So they pay more money if they have a nicer ride. Because that will encourage you to actually worry more about speed limits. Have it as a system that you can switch on or off. Maybe a new GRF or something like that. But then you can have like luxury trains that actually pay out more. People pay more money to go on this train than they would to go on perhaps a faster train that does the journey in half the time. But because this has... Uh, you know, smoother speed limits. It's it's a nicer train anyway. It's got like a restaurant on board. It's got a cinema on board. That kind of thing. Um, people will pay more money to actually travel on this train. I know that um, Railroad Tycoon used to have that. If one of your trains broke a speed limit, uh, sorry, not broke speed limit, broke a speed record, you don't want to pay more for a train that breaks the speed limit. But if it broke the speed record. You get to rename the train, and then people pay 20% more to travel on that specific train. That'd be cool. It's probably too much to ask. I don't think it's actually there's anything in the game files that allows you to edit how much people would pay to go on specific trains. It'll just be they pay this much to go on this train, and that's it. But you never know. Right, this is going to be 125 as well. That's going to be 150. That's going to be 150. Here is going to be 125. And here is going to be 25. That's 150. Here, 25. And 25. And then the final wayside station. I'm calling it wayside. I mean, in high speed terms, this is wayside. This is way wayside. It's so wayside, it's not even mainstream. And there we go, 150. Okay, here is going to be uh, 30, 45, and 60, and 75. Uh, that needs to be 1500, and uh, not 1500, 2500. Uh, is Gronwell 2500? It is. Is the one up here 2500? It is. I just forgot to change the bottom one. Okay. Um, this one is 100, and this one is 125. Okay, and then coming out, 45. I mean, really, when the train's empty, it doesn't matter how fast it goes at this point. Um, in my head, at least, it doesn't matter. But, in case there's a train behind that's um, got passengers on board, that's not the right speed. Uh, you should always keep things constant. Again, it's, it's, it's the standardization that I was talking about. Making sure that everything is at the speed that it should be at. That should be 75. 
this one should be 100 like that and you are 20 now you're here for 1500 how long was this one in the depot for a thousand so we'll change this one to a thousand set you to autofill how many on this service ten Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll see how that gets on, shall we? And then finally, um, I'll clone this one, pin, drag to the bottom, open this right up. Now, again, I need to just change the numbers. is going to severely increase the number of trains running in and out like so and then over to here change this from 5000 to 7500 that makes nine trains okay so this one does start at uh, Plenborough it only changes once we get up here to Kylestra and then the major change um, if I resize this and just drag this down to Kylestra which is here instead of going west branch this one goes east branch and then all of this gets deleted okay um, and then here it's East Branch alright so that and that um, nope not there next bit over here all right there 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 uh, there 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 and there done timetable nice and easy close that drag you up here pin buffered okay so Torina that's fine all the way up to Kylestra so here you are 150 and then you are one two five uh, GSG here two thousand five hundred you are one fifty right you are thirty you're sixty through the tunnel always got to remember that you're sixty through the tunnel which does kind of mess up our timings a little bit but not too much not too much. It could be worse. You're 100, you're 125. Well, actually, that being said, you can be 45. And you can be 60. No, actually, that is going to mess everything up. I was going to say you can be 45 going through there, but it's this one here. Because it's quite a long bridge. Um it's from here all the way over to here it's going to be going at 60 whereas all the other trains are expecting to be going at 75 so that doesn't really work so that's 75 um, oh you are right actually you are 100 you are 125 and you are 150 yeah 
It's going to be like that. Oh well. And then you are 45. You are 60 through the tunnel. 75. Whoops. 100. 125. And 150. And then here you are also 125. And this one, you are 150. No, you're 125 as well. So just to confirm that you are 125. 125, 125, 125 on the way back. 125, 125, 125. Perfect. Okay. We're done. I think. I'm just going to set this to autofill. And then we need to get the right number of trains in, which is nine. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're going to find out how well this works. Now, the fact that we've got two railjet services originating from Plenbra should mean that we've got less congestion here at GSG, because then we're going to just have trains that run, especially with the railjet, because we've only got two railjet platforms here. They're going to run in, and then they're going to run out again. And they're not going to have to go and cross over here and cause problems. They're just going to run straight through and off into the wilderness. And over here we have got four um, railjet areas, but I'm tempted to cut off these two and just have these two as the rail jets. I think that's all we're going to need really for this. So I might do that now. Just cut this back and demolish all of this. And it means we can have some more housing or something here. Just make the world that little bit nicer. Uh, get rid of that second. Do this and do this and there we are that is the end of the episode then guys um, I suppose the last thing we really should do is, is sort this out so your high speed express uh, EMU and you are GSG2 what was the first one Gronwell. No. No. It was Plenbra. PLT. And you are a 16 carriage long train. Uh, so you drag into there. Add shared vehicles. There. Right. This one. Um, you are GSG to GRS? Yeah. GRS. Now you are 10 cars long. Uh, 10 tiles long, so that's 20 cars minus 2 because the control cars don't contain passengers. So you are an 18 car long train. And we grab you, and you're there. Add shared vehicles. All right, now this one, um, you're not railjet. You are also an EMU, not a J. Uh, you go PLT to GRS, and you are 10 cars long. And that is this set here. Add shared vehicles. You are also not railjet. You are EMU. Um, so we got that. We got that. Oh, I got that wrong. Your GSG to GRS, the next one. So this is GSG to PLT. GSG to PLT. You are 10. Uh, this one is GSG to GRS. 
GSG to GRS. All right, grab you. You go into this one. Uh, add shared vehicles. All right now, we need to create a new category: HSE, EMU. Uh, you are PLT to GRS. You are made up of ten. That needs to be capitalized. That T, otherwise that's going to be incredibly irritating. Uh, right, HSE. There you are. Good, good. And you are there. Add shared vehicles. Right. Um, now we're going to do HSE R. J for railjet. Um, GSG to GRS. And you are 13 tiles, which is 26 minus 1, 25 cars long. Long train. And you go there. Add shared vehicles. All right. H S E R J. The next one is P L T to G R S. P L T to G R S. Also 25 vehicles long. Once these um, stations at the ends of the high speed line are served by more trains, these high speed trains are going to make us so much money. Just shooting people here, there and everywhere. And the last one is PLT to GSG. You're 25 cars long. Drag you up. Grab you. Drag you down into there and add shared vehicles. We're done. That's it for this episode guys. Episode 201 ticked. Let's uh, tick that off here. Right, so next up is going to be episode 202, obviously. And we're going to complete the rest of the services from this schedule list, which are mostly Guard North services. Um, so out of GSG, also out of um, Honningville. And well, there's some North Rail ones and there's some South Rail ones as well if I'm not mistaken or is it no it's just north ones okay so yeah next episode we're going to be finishing off the rest of those and then we're going to start perhaps planning out some more but until then guys thanks very much for watching don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and of course if you're enjoying the series drop some comments down below with ideas for future episodes head over to the name list I'm going to add a new one in there soon for main lines uh, branch lines and also um, roadways so you can head over there and put your suggestions in for those particular names. Uh, besides that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.